Is the time running? Time yeah. at the top? All right. Yep. So uh, one of the things we want to work on with these two dogs is teach them to stay away from the door. We've started to create a little bit of a line at the door, but we ran out of tape. But we have the UPS guy is going to knock on the door with a package here in about 15 seconds, I'm guessing. That's going to cause the dogs to want to charge the door. I'm going to demonstrate how to claim the door using the escalating consequences we went over earlier. I thought he would be up here by now. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do is rush. What a lot of people do, they get flustered. They don't want to hear the guest hear the dogs barking, so we rush to the door. The way the dogs hear that is whoever this jerk is outside is making my humans look how fast they're moving. They must be upset about this guy. I have to go really bark at this person and let them know that they're upsetting the balance of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm going to answer the door. I'm going to do it very casually. Not going slow, not going fast. But like, I want to give the impression this does not bother me in the least. Now what I'm going to do is as I walk up, I'm going to turn once I pass the dogs and I'm going to walk towards them and take, make them walk past the boundary. Once that's the case, I'm going to walk backwards towards the door. Um, keep pausing in between each step to uh, communicate that they need to stay back. If they anytime they come forward, I'm going to rush towards them and I'm only going to stop once they get outside of the line. Um, kind of surprised the UPS guy's not uh, here already. Uh, I'm like, you coming up here? He's like, yes. Uh, he's got a, he's got a lot of, big load. Big load? Okay. He's so he's, he's on his way? Dolly, yeah. Okay. All right. So he's coming up with a dolly. So when he does it, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i be answering the door. Um, I, I don't think the UPS guys, you just knock and leave stuff. I don't know. And so I'm going to have, when I do it, back up a little bit so you make sure you can see the Here dog and me yeah. uh, in in, uh, in the shop. He's coming. All right. Yeah, he has that whole load. Wow. Would you guys order a refrigerator? <laughs> night tables. Oh, uh, night tables. Is that normally, this is different already. Let's film me. Uh, this is already different, correct? Yes. <laughs> so I take a step backwards, I pause, read the dog, stay in place, I take another step backwards. No, keep it sideways, I'm keep sorry. it sideways. Um, and then when I'm at the door, practice this one, and their dogs are behind the guardian. Then I open it a crack, and I'm keeping my hips pointed this way, and the dogs are nowhere nearby. So then I can come back and thank you. Uh, and then I can invite the guest in. Now, if the, once the guest comes in, I have the guest stay behind me. So I'm projecting, I'm saying anything behind me is under my, super, under my protection. Now, the dogs are not allowed to interact with your guest until your guest crosses this threshold. Mm. And when they do, they have to uh, interact with them in an appropriate way. But this way, if you have a guest that comes over that's afraid of dogs, I don't have to worry about the dogs because they're not interacting with me at all. And your dogs did great. They both stayed completely far away. I think the other work that we've already put in is already paying dividends. Yeah, they're also yeah. very wary right now. Yeah. Yeah. And but that's good. That means that they're that they're adaptable. They're paying attention. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're respectful once we use the right communication methods. I'm guessing that you guys, like a lot of my clients, were communicating in ways that they did not understand or use too many words or whatever. But using dog language, which is where the escalating consequences came from, they got it right away. Yeah. So then you're going to invite your guests to come in or your guest leaves. You don't have to worry about your dogs rushing out the door because that distance helps them feel relaxed or less intense about whoever's coming in. But if somebody does try to grab you or do something inappropriate, they're so close, they can be there in a yeah. second or two. Or if it's a bad person at the door and they come to the door and they see two big Airedales sitting right there, yeah. they're probably not going to, oh, I got the wrong house. So they're going to go try to rob your neighbors instead. So uh, this is how we're going to claim the area around the door. 